Hello everyone and welcome to our channel and to another video. I feel like we have not done a video for a very long time and I feel like there's always like a six month gap in between every one of our videos so I'm sorry but we have an explanation for that and hopefully that will be changing soon and you will find out why in another video that I've just been filming today as well. I actually filmed this video already um, when I was nine weeks pregnant. I lost all the footage so then I thought why not do another video. So this video will be about how I found out I was pregnant, some symptoms that I had before I found out, some symptoms that I've had during my pregnancy so far and just how pregnancy has been overall and maybe I'll show you my bump at 18 weeks. It's been a pretty good pregnancy so far. The first trimester was really good and the second trimester I've dealt with a lot more things than the first trimester which is kind of a bit weird but I will explain why soon. Just start with how I found out I was pregnant and we haven't uploaded anything really about our pregnancy just like on our Instagram we've like uploaded our announcement and then we did our gender reveal so we're having a baby boy which we're really excited about but other than that we haven't really talked about our pregnancy or anything so I thought that's what I would do in this video. I first thought I was pregnant I actually started journaling in a book just to like the symptoms and stuff written down so that I would remember what I had in case I wanted to share it or look back on it. So I didn't really journal for that long but I journaled before I found out I was pregnant and when I was doing the like uh, pregnancy test and everything. We'll let you guys know all of the symptoms beforehand. So when I first thought I was pregnant it was very early on. It was before I even missed my period. I think I was eight days past ovulation so very very early my symptoms at 8 DPO were I had like mild cramping like period like but not very much but that was really weird for me because I would rarely get symptoms with my period except my boobs would get sore that would be like just when my period comes never before my period um so that was really weird I had like real weird cramps in my stomach I had a few like dizzy spells but not anything that you would think of. A sore back. I had a really sore back which I do get during my period but this was way early, too early to get for my period and my boobs were getting really sore. So they were a few symptoms that I had 8 DPO. I was just waiting to see if like when my period was going to come. I wanted to do the six days before your missed period test so I was waiting kind of a little bit longer to do that. And 9 DPO, still too early to do a pregnancy test. I was really, I had a really low appetite, so I hadn't felt like eating or anything. The main symptom that I had before I found out I was pregnant was my boobs were really sore. And like, I normally get sore boobs with my period, but this was like really sore and like weird to get before my period because I never got symptoms like that before I get my period. So that was weird. But at 9 DPO, I actually did a test but it came up negative which is still too early to really do a pregnancy test so that came up negative I think I did two tests before I found out I was, it was a positive so I did two tests they were both negative and then on 10 DPO that was five days before I was meant to get my period so I got a packet of three pregnancy tests like in a box and at the two, the first two were the negatives ones and then I had one left so I woke up one morning on the 10 DPO so five days before my period and I was like why not let's just try it out. So I did it, I did the test and then the faintest line showed up so I will put it up here so you can see how faint the line is. I was like so shocked so I was like do I tell Caleb or do I not tell Caleb and then he ended up walking in anyways so I couldn't surprise him but he was just in shock he didn't really believe me or believe the test um, so I think he was just in like like disbelief that it was actually real like he needed to process that for like a few months I feel like yeah that was really crazy that the like test came up positive because you just don't expect to see that line there and then when it's there you're like oh my gosh and then you still feel like it's not real so I had to buy more and do more because I just wanted to make sure so 11 DPI I did another one I will put a like picture of all of the tests that I did I did like eight pregnancy tests I'm not joking because I just wanted to like double check every day that I was pregnant that's how excited I was and like wanted to make sure that the baby was still there and that I was still pregnant so I kept doing tests every day so I'll put that there 
I did like eight tests, so um, I just wanted to make sure I was pregnant still. And basically that was how I found out I was pregnant. It wasn't like a crazy emotional thing. It was more like a shock and then kind of like processing it. I feel like it was more processing the situation than like some videos that you see where like they're crying and like they're really emotional, which I was very excited, but I feel like it doesn't feel real for a while. I don't think it really felt real to me until I literally saw the baby in the ultrasound. I don't know what the first one I did was. I did a dating scan at like five weeks and the baby's like literally this big. But because I am 18 weeks now, I have my 20 week scan in two weeks or so and that's when you see the baby really clear. And at my 12 week scan, that's when the baby was so cute. He's so cute in there. Um, and that made me really excited and that was so cool to see. I hear the heartbeat and all of that. So that was making it, that made it more real. And when we told our family and friends, that was also when it felt a lot more real. I will go through some of the symptoms that I had when I found out I was pregnant. And during like seven, six, seven, eight weeks, that's pretty much when I experienced morning sickness and some symptoms. So... The first main, the biggest symptom that I have had so far that has just been crazy is some people don't really get this until later on in their pregnancy when they're like late, later on when the like milk comes in. But my boobs have literally gone from like a B to an E. Like you can't, you probably can't tell, but they have literally grown so much and that was the biggest symptom and the biggest thing that was like so painful were my boobs and they were growing every day that is how I kind of knew I was pregnant was because my boobs were getting so sore and so big every day like when I first found out I was pregnant and they have not stopped growing so I hope they stop growing soon because I don't know how much I can deal with big boobs like I have a lot of respect for those chicks out there with big boobs because you know, it affects your back, it affects everything. So, um, and I'm getting stretch marks and things like that, which stretch marks are fine. Um, but like, I just have not experienced that before. That was the thing that I noticed my body changing. Like my belly hadn't changed until like recently, like started to get a bump. Um, so that was really the only thing in my body that was changing were my boobs. Um, and they were growing very fast every day, getting bigger and bigger and still are growing because I can feel that they're sore still and the milk hasn't even come in yet so I'm just thinking wow they're just going to be massive anyways that is one thing that I had to deal with um, and still am but that's not really a bad thing that I've dealt with another thing was smells okay so we got a new puppy at when I was like first found out I was pregnant and during like five and six weeks of pregnancy and my smell was so strong, like I could smell things so easily, like an example, our puppy Jarvis, that's his name, he was like, when we first got him, he was sleeping in our room on the floor and we had like puppy pads and if he pooed, or if he peed, I actually feel sick thinking about it, you could smell it so bad, like ridiculous it was disgusting I would I would be dry reaching from the smell like that is something that has affected me is just smells I can smell anything and when it's bad smells it's the worst so picking up poos couldn't do it it's gotten better now like I can do that sort of stuff now but during those first few weeks I was literally dying like I can't explain the pain of smelling the poo like even when he was still sleeping in the house and there was a puppy pad out in the lounge room, I was sleeping in here in our bed, door was shut and he poos out in the lounge room. I woke up to the smell of the poo and I went out there to go to the toilet and there it was, the poo, all the way out in the lounge room. And I was like, what is going on? So that was another symptom. That is just something I cannot deal with and I'm so glad it has kind of gone away. That made it worse having a new puppy with like poo and pee in the house. I could not clean it, could not pick up poos anywhere. Like I had to leave that up to Caleb. So I was very thankful for him for that. Um, so that was a really big one. Another one was I like literally did not eat in my first trimester at all. Like 
all I could eat was snack food maybe after like at lunchtime and then like dinner I would make like big meals and like have it ready and I couldn't even eat it because I just like I'd be hungry and then I make it and I can only have like a few bites so that was one that was really annoying because I love eating and that just sucked not having like an appetite so that was a really big one which has definitely passed I'm eating so much food now um, it's probably bad but I love food now and I'm just so happy that I have my appetite back so another one I have experienced but I have not experienced it as bad as what people have is morning sickness I did struggle with nausea nausea however I don't really know how to pronounce that nausea nausea anyways I struggled with that quite a bit just randomly I would get like waves of it and then it would go away and then I vomited like a few times but I think I was also from taking pregnancy like tablet things I did have a bit of morning sickness but not very bad which I'm very very thankful for and I still kind of get some waves of na nausea nausea I don't actually know how to pronounce that every now and then still like at work when I'm standing for long periods of time I would just like feel really sick and I'll need to sit down so I still kind of get that but not as bad as what people get like vomiting every day and like feeling so sick I'm like really lucky that I did not get that sorry Jarvis is sitting at the window he always stands on the table out there he's so naughty yes that was one that I am glad I didn't experience as much as most people I didn't really experience any other symptoms during my pregnancy that I can think of right now I think one that I did, I was drinking lots of water at the very, like in week six, seven, eight, I was drinking so much water, but I've been really bad with that lately. It was like first trimester symptoms that I had, but since coming into my second trimester, I have felt a lot better. I've been eating lots of food, which has been so good. I hated having like food, is it aversions? I don't know if that's the word. But like I hate not eating foods and not being able to eat and whatever so I'm really glad that that is gone and now I'm just being able to eat whatever I want the thing that I've dealt with in the second trimester has been just like my uterus growing like cramps and pains in my uterus I also experienced some bleeding a few weeks ago I like 17 weeks so maybe a week or 16 weeks pregnant I experienced like bleeding but it wasn't very bad but I had to go to the hospital for that which was a little bit of a scare because I had pains along with that and I know people experience bleeding as well in pregnancy and it can be normal but it was also I hadn't experienced any bleeding like normally it's spotting at the like in the first trimester but this is like second trimester 16 weeks a bit more cautious with like if there's any bleeding or whatever so I went to the maternity ward at the hospital that I am going to give birth at and they just like kind of checked on the baby and the baby's heart was fine they did an ultrasound everything was fine so when you're first pregnant like you kind of don't really know what's normal and what's not so you kind of just want to be reassured by the doctors like check on things whenever something feels wrong so that's what I did I went to the maternity ward and they like checked on everything and it seemed to be fine that the bleeding only lasted two days and it wasn't like massive amounts of blood so that was good um, not good but that was good that it wasn't anything bad and baby is fine now so that is really reassuring and it was really good to have those midwives and those doctors there to check on me and tell me that everything was fine and that baby was fine really more stressful and then since that I've had like infections I've had like UTIs thrush it is so bad like I've never experienced thrush and like UTIs in that like way in this way that I've had in the last few weeks it's been so bad these infections that I've had so the second trimester has been a bit harder for me just because I've been dealing with those infections and things like I've had to take antibiotics and like they make you feel sick and then yeah so that's annoying but that's all really I've had to deal with in my second trimester I'm just happy that the baby is safe and okay and healthy so I'm happy to put up with things like that but it has been more stressful and I've been going through a lot more like 
pains with my stomach just with my body and going through a lot with my body more than like first trimester that was easy to deal with but I'm just grateful that the baby is okay but you kind of don't really ever hear about these things that people deal with during their pregnancy there are lots of things that people go through during pregnancy and things that you've just got to deal with and go through and everything hopefully will work out for the best all worth it because we're so excited to meet our little baby boy which will be so exciting it's gonna go so fast because it's already nearly christmas in like 10 weeks which is crazy you, i might update you guys like in another 10 weeks or whatever to see how the second half of my trimester has been but so far pregnancy has been really good um my belly has been growing i'll show you my belly now so this is my belly in like tight so you can see it's definitely growing without start from the front okay if you see my belly button do not judge it is it just sticks out so much it's actually pretty good right now but it comes out a lot so he's definitely growing in there um, My belly button is coming out like it's like a button and yeah, don't know how I feel about that, but I will accept the changes my body has <laughs> planned for me. And these are just some of the symptoms, some of the things that you go through in pregnancy and you kind of just got to go with it. Go to the doctors when you feel something's not right because like there's nothing wrong with checking and like making sure everything's okay and being reassured by the doctors. And that's what I've had to learn during this pregnancy is like just tell them like how you're feeling tell them some of the things you're worried about or like the pains you're getting or like the bleeding if you're worried about it make sure you just get it checked because there's nothing wrong with just checking on it and making sure everything's okay then you know not checking up and then just having like this feeling of like oh I just hope everything's okay and all of that so that is something I would encourage if you are pregnant or if you are you know going through pregnancy is or if you in the future are pregnant if you ever feel any doubts or anything just go get it checked like there's nothing wrong with wanting to be sure that your baby is okay but if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up um, subscribe to our channel and comment some things that you would like to see on this channel some things that you want us to film I hope you guys are all amazing and I hope you have a blessed rest of your week enjoy see you guys soon